Yeah, I mean, look, that Laws Test match was one of the, the more special games I've played in in my career and uh, a great victory for us. Yeah, it is a blow. I mean, he's, he's a quality player. He's, he's probably our best player. Um, and yeah, when, you, when you lose a guy that quality, it's always going to hurt. But the only thing I'd say is it, he's, been, he's had this injury for a while now. It's obviously been affecting him. And most recently, it's, it's kind of got to the stage where it's really been affecting his ability to perform well. So he's done the right thing. He's get, got it sorted, and hopefully he'll come back uh, refreshed and ready to go uh, when it's better. I think the other thing is we're very fortunate to have Ian Bell as a replacement. He's a, he's a quality international cricketer. Uh, we all know what his capabilities are, and, um, and he's chomping at the bit to get out there and play for England again. So um, it's nice that he can slot in straight away, and uh, you know, I think he's going to have... He's going to put in some really good performances for us in the coming test matches. Yeah, well, I mean, Fred looks at this stage like he's going to be fit. I mean, he, he came through um, the Laws test match well. He, he seems to have recovered well from that as well. Um, we need to kind of see how he, he reacts over the next couple of days. But I think we're, we're very positive he'll be there. Um, and yeah, we all know he's dying to play in these last three test matches. And you know, it wouldn't be at all surprising if he puts in another couple of performances like he did at Lords. I thought he might miss the Edgbaston test just because of visibly how he was at, at Lords, he was struggling so.